This is one of the quirkiest and weirdest commands in Linux, but actually I think there's a few good use cases for it. Let's talk about the yes command. Now yes is a command that will print out a string forever until you kill the process. Pretty weird. But if you add a string to the end of the yes command, it'll print out that string forever until you kill the process. Now, how could this be useful? Well, I could think of three ways. The third one is, I think, really, really cool. Now, the first reason why I think yes can be useful is if you're practicing stuff on Linux. Let's just say you want to practice killing your processes on Linux. I can type yes and in another pane, I can grep for yes in my processes and I can copy and paste the process ID to a kill command and there we go. I have killed the process for yes. That's pretty neat, but I think there's other really cool use cases. Now, the second way I think yes is useful is if you are trying to work with a lot of data on your machine. Let's just say I pipe out the word something to a text file using yes. If I let it go for just a second, kill that process, I can now cat that something.txt file and pipe that to word count line. Now let's see how many lines are in that file. Wow. That's a lot. The yes command really pumps out a lot, a lot of stuff all at once. And it's fun to sort of work with large files in Linux if you're trying to do some interesting things there. Now, the last but most interesting use case for yes is dealing with annoying scripts. Let's just say I have an install script and I have to hit yes for every package I want to install. And then it takes a while, I hit yes to install another package, yada, yada, so on and so forth. That's pretty annoying. But with yes, I could just pipe the output of yes to that install command and it will install all my packages automatically because it'll constantly be saying yes to everything. Subscribe for more Linux tips and tricks and hey, thanks nerds.